Jamaica become crime free. In Jamaica, we are Jamaican people in Canada. No more bring the last thing. Revolution. We want to be drowned. No one's been hit. This is good for our economy. All the brand new junk on the street. We want to be drowned. No one's been hit. This is good for our economy. All the brand new junk on the street. So you have uh, aquaculture, horticulture, agriculture, uh, poultry farm, I don't know. What, what is Francois and Paula and farming? Well, it has nothing to do with anything like that. They are farming something of a different nature, an entirely different nature, that uh, I perhaps we'll have to find out from them what exactly it is they're farming. I know it's not fool. But anyway, it's time for AgraBuzz, and so they have given me time to farm what I want to farm. Anyway, welcome to each and every one of you to AgroBuzz. It is our weekly agricultural program right here on the 94 during Sunny Side Up. It takes place every Wednesday at 845. All right, so the Denby Agricultural Industrial and a Food Show 2019 is just around the corner, yes. That means it is time to talk about it. And that is why today on AgroBuzz, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries, begins its countdown to the big event scheduled for August 4 to 6 this year at the Denby Showground in Clarendon. The ministry is, in, is planning to have uh, one main attraction at the show with a wide range of displays in a particular village. So that when you visit the ministry's village, you can learn all about agriculture from A to Z among the exhibits. You will find all kinds of items and information ranging from plants, fruits, vegetables and livestock. You name it, you will see it in this village. And so we want to talk about that. And uh, on the telephone lines, we have uh, Mrs. Carla Douglas. And uh, she is the Senior Director in Research and Development. And uh, we want to talk a little about that. So let's welcome her to the Sunny Side Up AgriBuzz program for this Wednesday. Good morning to you, Mrs. Douglas. How are you Good doing? Good morning. Good morning. I'm very well, thanks. And how are you? I am absolutely great. Good. All right. So, um, you're not joining with Paula Ann and uh, Francois this morning over by, over by um, Guardian Life. You're not into what they're farming. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> <laughs> a different kind of farming, eh? Very different. Yes, very, very different. All right, yes. so what can we look forward to seeing and learning from the Research and Development Division this year at Denby? All right, so we're coming with very, very, very interesting things at Denby. We're going to be showcasing all the technologies that we would have developed or improved on or validated as it relates to the theme for Denby this year. All right. We'll go, yeah. go ahead, please. Go ahead. I'm right, sorry. Right. So, so we're looking at how it is that we're impacting climate change. We're looking at how it is that we're going to be ensuring that our major patrons or producers can actually increase or improve their production and productivity. So we'll be showcasing all the technologies relating to that. All right. Um, your particular division. What's your division? We're the Research and Development Division of this wonderful, exciting ministry. And what does your division do? Right. So, as it says, we conduct research, but we're focused on agriculture. And as mentioned earlier, we develop technologies, we improve on them, we validate them. And the real focus is to improve or increase our production and productivity, whether it be in crops or in livestock. So we help our patrons, our farmers, our primary producers to improve their production. And will, will you be highlighting any special area at Denby? Definitely. What definitely. are these areas? So, so the areas that I mentioned, we're looking at crop research, plant protection, apiculture, livestock. We'll be showcasing things like physiculture technology, hydroponics, looking at our bees, all these technologies, looking at improving our production, honey production. We're looking at our livestock feeding systems. We're going to have exotic fruits for tasting. Many, many exciting things. All right, I take note of, of the theme for this year's yes. show in particular. This year's theme is aligning 
farming decisions with uh, climatic conditions. So how right. important is research on development in the whole process of farming and climate change? Right. So research, we provide solutions. So as it relates to climate change, you know, climate change, we're talking about extreme weather conditions, higher temperatures, lower temperatures, more drought conditions, more rainy conditions. How can we help our farmers to deal with these situations? So we, we need to find or demonstrate what we call climate resilience. We need to find crops that, that, that can tolerate these extreme drought, con, um, drought conditions, livestock species as well. We need to be able to have a, a seed bank where individuals can reach out to when they need to bounce back from these these events you know seed material to, to get going again to plant their crops again we need to we are showcasing technologies to help you to mass produce your planting material for example you want to plant an acre of sweet potatoes we can put those those um sweet potatoes seeds for you and you can go out there and you can produce as it relates to for example agriculture they're monitoring um, devices that you can put in your hive to help you to know what's happening so you can help your, your bees to produce better. So, you, so, so you'll yes. be, you'll be, you will be having like demonstration and how things like this can be done. Definitely. definitely. And, and, not only will you, and not only will you be having demonstration, but you'll be also providing information. That's correct. So all this information will be there. As you said, we are about providing solutions, and we're going to be showing you what those solutions are. All right. And uh, what would be your last word to all of those who are planning to go to Denby? And in oh, fact, if anybody's not planning, they really should be planning to. They need to be there because we're coming bigger and better every year. We're bigger, we're better, we're larger. We are the best. So when you come into the ministry's village, you're going to see a big R and D. The letters will be there for you to see. They need to come by and see what we're all about. Because remember now, we're providing solutions for farmers to increase production and productivity. Mm-hmm. And we're supporting all the programs of the ministry. Hot pepper production, strawberry production. Um, we're going to have a pest and disease museum. We need to come and see all these exciting things. So that uh, R&D is uh, for research and development, eh? Yes, yes, that's uh, what it stands uh, for. Uh, all right, yes. I want to thank you so much, Mrs. Uh, Carla Douglas, Senior yes. Director in Research and Development. Thank you so much. You're and, most welcome. All right. And make sure you're there. I'll uh, there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So the 67th Denby Agricultural Show will be held on August 4 to 6 at the Denby Show Ground in Clarendon under the theme, Grow What We Eat, Eat What We Grow, Aligning Farming Decisions with Climatic Conditions. So let's continue to support the farmers by creating what, by rather eating what they grow. All right. And for more information, you can visit their website at Mid cough.gov.jm and that was AgroBuzz. Let's see some of you crime free. You tell me can I wait so we can do for economy. No more breathe the last thing. Remedy your son. Eat what we grow. Grow what we eat. It is good for our economy. All the brand new junk on the street.